This is meteorologist Todd Shea out of the National Weather Service in La Crosse with a video update for the severe weather possibilities over the next few days, which include threats for damaging wind, rounds of heavy rain, some hail, and lightning. The impacts, if these storms do move in the area, would include uh, types of wind damage like trees and crop damage, possible power lines going down, and maybe some isolated structure damage. With the main timing later tonight and Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon and evenings. Focusing on today and tonight, Monday, July 11th, we're expecting a line of storms that could move in from the west, uh, which could be strong to severe initially as they cross Interstate 35, but be in a weakening state as they approach the Mississippi River. Again, the higher threats off to the west, with the timing being mid-evening to the overnight hours. Radar displays, uh, based on model output that could vary, shows the idea of, again, some strong to severe storms developing this afternoon, and then as they progress eastward, uh, start to weaken and also dive into central Iowa. The threats that we would receive from these severe storms for today and tonight are mainly focusing on a damaging wind threat, uh, but none of the categories are overly high. As far as looking ahead on Tuesday, there is another severe weather risk, but this would be mainly across parts of Wisconsin into eastern Iowa. A lot of the severe weather each day will depend on what happens with the previous round of severe weather. This threat could bring damaging wind and hail. Looking ahead to Wednesday, again, very conditional depending on what happens over here the next couple of days. Uh, but there is a threat of more storms, mainly across Iowa or southern Wisconsin, and that would be a Wednesday afternoon and evening risk. As far as our messaging out of the National Weather Service, again, we just want you to be weather aware over the next several days. Uh, today and tonight, we're expecting a, a mid-evening to overnight threat with a higher risk of severe weather to the west. And looking ahead to Tuesday afternoon and evening, the risk shifts to the east and south with mid-afternoon to evening hours being the main focus. So again, several rounds of thunderstorms coming up the next few days. Lots of uncertainties and where the storms will form and track. Uh, but Monday and Tuesday, it looks like there could be some strong to damaging wind threats. The timing looks a little later tonight, mid-evening to the overnight hours, with mainly afternoon and evening rounds of weather on Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, locations for today and tonight, mainly west, parts of Minnesota and Iowa and shifting further east and south as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Continue to check back through social media and our web page at weather.gov slash ARX or slash lacrosse, and we will be updating this severe weather threat as it unfolds over the next few days.